screen shows you, but I'm going to try to keep it on me. Don't, don't speak and you won't show up. Okay. So anyways, uh, layup. So we're going to go descending rep scheme of 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. So you're going to go down in, uh, in reps. Those movements are going to be double unders and ab mat sit-ups. Okay. So, uh, if you do not have double unders, uh, or a jump rope, okay. At all, you're going to do lateral hops. Okay. If you do have a jump rope and you want to do singles, you're just going to go up by, uh, one and a half. So, or I mean, uh, yeah, one and a half. So you'll go, uh, 75, 60, 45, 30, 15 singles. Okay. Um, but that's just for your double under rep scheme. You'll still go ab mat sit-ups of 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. Okay. So after you get done with your, uh, 10th ab mat sit-up, you'll go directly into your first five of either kettlebell swings or dumbbell swings. Okay. We can swing the dumbbell the same way we sing, swing a kettlebell. It's just a little bit sketchier, I would believe, <laughs> but it'll be fine. And then you'll go into goblet jump squats. So we'll hold that kettlebell in the front rack position in that goblet position. And then you'll uh, perform some jump squats there. Uh, if we don't have, both of you guys have dumbbells though. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we'll, we won't look at our uh, other option, but if you did need another option, it would be elevated group glute bridges, meaning that we are trying to get our feet elevated up onto either your couch or a bench or something uh, above your hips. That way we can open up the hips just a little bit more. It'd be kind of the same movement as far as what we're looking for, for the kettlebell swing. So uh, we are going to get warmed up. I'm going to need you guys to grab a jump rope if you have one. And then also uh, a dumbbell for uh, our warm up. So guys all good. Yeah. Will a, will a kettlebell work? A kettlebell will be even better if you if you have a kettlebell. I'd rather you use that. But if you have a dumbbell, then that's okay as well. <laughs> yeah. Bernie, you only have a dumbbell, right? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. All right, guys. So we're gonna start with our warm up. Warm up. We're gonna go thirty seconds. Okay, you're gonna start with your jump rope. Uh, all I'm looking for is nice and easy singles, so really no uh, technique happening yet. Uh, just getting you jumping and pumped up for the day. Maybe. All right, starting in 10 seconds, nice and easy singles. In three, two, one, and go. Nice. 10 more seconds here. All right, guys, we're going to go into a down dog. So we're going to hold the down dog. We're not going to move here. Really just kind of the only slight movement we're going to have is really thinking about walking maybe the, the heels up and down to stretch out the calves in that posterior chain. Okay, we really focus on pressing through the hands on the floor and getting the tailbone up to the sky. So you want to drive your head through uh, uh, your shoulders. And also thinking about pressing through your shoulders as well. So we shouldn't have that limp kind of like, uh, I'm just kind of hanging out here. You really want to press through. Beautiful. All right, guys, we're going to go back into our jump rope. This time we're going quicker singles. So our main focus here is getting uh, the flick of the wrist happening a little bit faster. The jumps are gonna be smaller, okay? Uh, so we're not really too focused on the jump, but we do wanna make those wrists flick a little bit faster. Good. All right, guys, we're gonna go into active Samson. So active Samson is our higher lunge, okay? We're gonna take that step out. We're gonna try to reach those hands as far as you can overhead and then take a nice little side bend, okay? Switching feet. You should be pressing through that back toe to open up that uh, hip flexor that's in the back leg. Oh. 
try to get about two on each side, at least. We'll even it out. All right, and then we're gonna go into higher bounding singles. So go ahead and grab that jump rope again. This time, okay, we're focusing on getting off the ground, right? We wanna think about being light on our feet, okay? So you shouldn't be landing very hard, okay? If you are, that means you're landing with a flat foot and there's no rebound in your calves. Remember, we're pressing those knees back and we're tightening the quads. All right, guys, go ahead and put that jump rope down. Last but not least here, we're going to go 30 seconds of inchworm, okay? Uh, if you don't have a bunch of space, you can just walk the hands out and then back in. If you do have some space, then walk your hands out and then walk your feet to your hands. But we just want to try to get into that plank. No, it just says inchworm. <laughs> Good. Go ahead and keep on moving. Good. Nice, guys. All right. We are going to grab a, if you have two different weights, uh, go ahead and grab your lighter one. If you don't have two weights, that's totally fine. We'll just warm up with your working weight. Okay. No big deal. <clears throat> okay. So we are just going to go into 20 seconds of movement here. We're going to go into deadlifts. Okay. Uh, so if you have a kettlebell, then obviously you can hold with two, two hands. Okay. Here, just moving through the deadlift. As so, okay, if you don't have the kettlebell, Bernie, if you have your dumbbell, just go ahead and hold it, okay, on this, the ends, right? And then just don't go down all the way to the floor. I just want you to go down to about mid-shin. So we're going to go 20 seconds here, okay, starting now. We're just moving through those deadlifts. Remembering we're trying to shift the hips back and down. Good, beautiful. All right, we're gonna go foot taps to your, uh, your weight. So if either one of them, all I'm looking for is just to get a quick foot here. If you don't wanna kick your dumbbell or your kettlebell, just do regular foot taps just on the floor where you kind of bring your feet up off the ground. Okay, go ahead and get started. Good. A few more seconds here. All right, go ahead and rest. We're gonna go into 20 seconds of air squat. So find your squat position, okay? A little bit further than hip distance. And then we're just gonna shift those hips back and down. Remember, we want to think about that full foot contact, not letting your toes come up. And really thinking about getting those hips back and then down. Good, Colton. Good, Bernie. All right, we're gonna go into Russian twists. So go ahead and grab your weight. You are going to get onto like the low back, okay? So you're not gonna be sitting on your butt, but you're not gonna be rolled all the way back. You're kind of on that tailbone a little bit, okay? Tilted back. You can keep your feet on the ground or you can raise them up for a little bit more difficulty. We're shifting the full shoulder Okay, from side to side. I don't want you to just move the weight, right? And keep your shoulders uh, upright. I want the whole shoulders to shift back and forth. Good. So 20 seconds here. Good. And rest, go ahead and just put the weight out beside you or in front of you. We're just gonna go into 20 seconds of full sit-ups, okay? Feet can be any way they like. You can go feet down, you can go diamond, you can go out front. We're gonna go 20 seconds and go. Good, Bernie.
Awesome. All right, you guys, go ahead and uh, get into our lunge position. We're going to open up our ankles for some mobility. So uh, our ankle opener, right, this is our really low lunge and where we keep our foot flat on the floor and drive our knee fully over the toe. We want the weight of our like chest and abdomen and stuff to be on top of our uh, our thigh. That way we can actually put some weight on top of us and drive that ankle open. Good, and go ahead and switch feet. You should be feeling that stretch maybe in the Achilles, maybe in that low calf and maybe possibly in the front of the ankle. If you are feeling it in the front of your ankle, you have uh, some tight ankles, which is me. Imagine that. Sometimes. The one that, is, that I've had surgery on, it depends on the day. All right, guys, we're going to go into child's pose, okay? So if you'd like to, you can definitely put your hands on top of the handle of your kettlebell or even uh, the heads of the dumbbell if you just want a little bit more room to drive the head through. But remember, we want to uh, spread the knees apart and our toes are together, and then we shift our hips back and down. We want to keep our tailbone down. We want to open up the shoulders by trying to drop the armpits all the way down to the ground. Focus on that big, nice breath. Beautiful. Good, all right guys. Last little mobility uh, work here. We're gonna hold the squat, okay? So we're gonna do a squat hold. Uh, to make it a little bit, I don't know, maybe easier or more difficult, whichever way you find it, uh, you can add weight to it, okay? Uh, if not, we're just looking to keep the chest tall. So I don't want to see you guys just going into a half squat, but mostly with your chest just down, okay? I want the hips to sink down below the knee crease. So uh, if you want to add some load to it, go ahead and grab your weight. If not, then we are just going to hold a regular squat in three, two, one and go. Nice. Good. A few more seconds here in five, four. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and come up out of that. Beautiful. Very, very good. All right, guys, we're going to go into our movement prep. So uh, today we are going to start with our double unders or our jump rope. Uh, what we want to think about is our midline, okay? If we are not keeping, one, our midline tight, and two, we're not keeping it um kind of in, in the center, or we're letting our shoulders shift forward or our shoulders shift back, okay? Uh, that's gonna one, make the bound or the jump a little bit more difficult, okay? Um, we wanna think about a nice straight line from the, head, the tip top of our head to the bottom of our feet. If our shoulders start going forward, you're gonna find yourself, uh, it's gonna be a lot more difficult to bound uh, and now your momentum is kind of moving forward and it's breaking. So uh, we are going to go ahead and just grab that jump rope. We're gonna go into higher bounding singles, okay? Uh, main focus here is just trying to get yourself like a pogo stick straight up and down, okay? If you're finding yourself kind of moving forward, right? Then you know that your either your uh, torso is facing forward or it's kind of bouncing back. So we want to make sure that we're just going to go 20 seconds here, nice and easy, higher bounding singles. Good. Go ahead and get started. Uh, 
Good. All right, guys. We're going to go into some double under practice. So go ahead and get some dubs in. If you don't have double unders, okay, just stay to those singles. Nice, Colton. Get that basketball goal out of the way. Can't be slam dunking. I kept hitting it. Yeah. Can you see me okay? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, real quick, look at this view. I think it's just the camera. Oh, good. Yeah, let me see it. Oh, oh. cute. Wait, touch the screen. Oh, wait, what? Like, focus it. The light, the light is. You can't see the mountains? Yeah. Oh, um, bummer. Sorry. No, I can. It looks good. We're missing the sunrise yet. I know, Bernie. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry, we changed the time and we messed up our, our sunrise schedule. All right, guys, so, back. <laughs> so remember on our singles, okay, today, you're gonna go 75, 60, 45, 30, 15, okay? So rep scheme is a little bit more than uh, the traditional rep scheme just because we're gonna do singles. If you just want to practice, okay, your rep scheme or your time frame is going to be, okay, a minute for the first, the 50, 40, and then for 30, 20, 10, it's only 30 seconds of practice. Cool. All right. We're going to go into our sit-ups. Pretty um, standard here. We just want to focus on our breathing and where it's easier to count a rep. So it's easier to count the rep every time you come to your back. Because, uh, I don't know. That's just what they told us. So, <laughs> I don't really have a, I like to count at the top. So, it's really, <laughs> I don't know. But uh, we want to focus on when we exhale or when we breathe out. We're doing that when we get to the top. One, because it uh, actually the air is getting pushed out of us anyways. Uh, and it's a little bit easier to maintain that uh, breathing sequence uh, in this movement. So, what, let's go ahead and just get 10 ab mat sit-ups or just sit-ups in general, focusing directly on your breath. It's an active breath out, okay? And then we inhale and do the same thing, okay, over and over. Uh, and over and over and over. And over and over. Guys, today, the, the rep scheme is pretty uh pretty high like we're starting with 50 ab mat sit-ups and then we're going to 40 and then 30 20 and 10 so if ab mat sit-ups aren't feeling good or you're like on your garage and your butt is starting to like chafe please just shorten the rep scheme it does not i mean you're gonna get a lot of ab mat sit-ups regardless if you started at 40 and then went down 30 20 10 10 that's perfectly fine okay if at any point yeah, it does not feel great. Please just stop doing them. There's no use in you like getting a butt scab for no reason. Uh, and if they are feeling bad, you can also just go into uh, like Russian twists or something different that still is focusing on that on the abs, but isn't as uh, like total full range of motion. Does that make sense? Yeah. Ten and four. Cool. All right. So we're going to go into our goblet jump squats, okay? Uh, Nat's just going to show you what that looks like before we kind of get, get into it. I don't want you guys to do it just yet. Just go ahead and watch her. So uh, if you have the kettlebell, you're going to do it upside down, right, where the handle is actually under, like, up facing the bottom, okay? And that way you can hold the ball a little bit closer to your chest. Uh, so she'll just go into that jump or the squat and then extend the legs at the top. Okay, so two ways of doing it. One, you can pause at the top before going into your next squat if you just don't feel as comfortable. Or two, you can make it a little bit more fluid. Okay, 
Uh, with the dumbbell, you're going to do the same thing. We hold it in a goblet position. So that way you can keep that, the weight closer to the center mass of your body. Okay. It makes it feel lighter and a little bit easier. Cool. So we're just going to start, we're going to go into five air squats. So go ahead and just find no weight. We're just going to go into five air squats. Thinking about if you would be able to jump from this position, okay? If your feet are too narrow, you're not gonna be able to jump, okay? If they're too wide, you're definitely not gonna be able to jump. So finding that nice squat position, okay? After that fifth one, you're gonna go into five jumping air squats. So we're just extending at the top. Good, Bernie. Good, Colton. Good, and then let's go ahead and grab the weight. Okay, if the weight ever starts to one, um, make you move in bad form, okay, or you're just not able to get more than like three or four in a row, go ahead and dump the weight and just go uh, body weight jump squat. So let's go for five right here to see how they feel. Five goblet jump squats, okay. Nice. Yep. So pausing at the top of each squat before you go into the bottom is perfectly fine, uh, especially if we're starting to feel ourselves or our midline start to get really fatigued or even our arms, okay? Uh, and again, if the weight does not, is, is just not working for you today, dump the weight and just go into regular jumping air squats, okay? Cool. We're going to go into kettlebell swings or dumbbell swings. So which with whatever object you have, we'll start with the dumbbell since that's a little bit more awkward or, or different. Okay. You're just going to hold one of the heads. Okay. You're just going to grip it. Sometimes I like to interweave my fingers if you can. Uh, if not, just hold it however you're comfortable, Bernie. And then basically that swing is just the same. So go ahead and grab uh, your, uh, your weight. We're going to go into five deadlifts. So Whichever, whatever you have, if you have your dumbbell or your kettlebell, you're just going to shift the hips back and down. Russian or American? Uh, Colton, you can go American. I'm, I'm going to see what Bernie's looks like, and then we'll make that judgment on him. But you can go American. Okay. Okay. I'm sure they'll be exquisite. <laughs> <laughs> All right. After those five dumbbell or kettlebell deadlifts, you're going to go into five Russian swings. So this is just to eye level. Okay, looking for that big hip drive. Good. Yeah, it is weird. Good, and then we are gonna go into five American kettlebell swings, which is all the way overhead. Go ahead, Bernie, and let me know how it feels. Uh, it's okay. Yeah, just don't bend at the elbow. Remember, we wanna go straight up. Yep, big hip. There yeah. it is. Good. Cool. So again, this rep scheme looks like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and you're ascending. So you're going up in reps as, uh, as the workout goes on. Okay. So it's going to get a little bit tougher. Um, so just keep that in mind. You should be able to get at least, okay, with those kettlebell swings and the goblet jumps, okay, at least five at a time before needing to put that, uh, kettlebell or weight down. Okay. Cool. So, uh, today's workout, we're looking for it to be around 15 to 20 minutes long. Okay. We're going to have a time cap at, of 20 minutes. So if you need to find a piece of paper or whatever you're going to use, if you need to write down the rep schemes for you, I'll put the board right in front of the screen. So you guys can see it the entire time, uh, in case you ever just like forget what you're supposed to be doing. Um, but remember that rep scheme goes, okay. It goes down first. You're going to go 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, uh, <coughs> double unders and ab mat sit-ups. If you're doing singles, you're going 75, 60, 45, 30, 15. Yeah. And you okay. do that so whole thing before you go into the kettlebell stuff, right? Say that again? Yeah. You do 50, 40, 30, 20, 10, and, t oh, and then you go into couplet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, right? Yeah. Once you finish this couplet, then you get to go into the second couplet. Okay. So don't mix <laughs> your, your weighted movements with your non-weighted movements. These are totally separate. 
How embarrassed will I be if I don't get to the second couplet? <laughs> so Bernie, I, I'd like you to, to drop down your ad mat sit-ups anyways. If you'll start at 40, no, no, no. I want you to start at 30 and then just go Seriously. Okay. 30, 20, 10, 10, 10. I'll be happy with that. Okay. Just because there's a lot of getting up and getting down. Well, it's the after the first fifty, it'll start to slow down. That's all I can tell exactly. you. Exactly. I don't ever want you to find your your peak at or like, I don't want you to die out early. I'd rather you feel and thrive here later on. I think my peak was several birthday parties ago. <laughs> What'd you say? I think my peak was several birthday parties ago. Oh, I think you're still hitting your prime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're good. <laughs> All right, boys. Uh, so we all good. We're going to start with your uh, double unders, okay, or your jump rope. Remember <laughs> that if you're doing singles, you're doing 75. And then, Bernie, you're starting at 30 ab mat sit-ups, 20, 10, 10, 10. Fulton, you know what you're doing? Okay, perfect. She said it. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, we're going to get going. I'll count you down in 10. Five, four, three, two, one, and go. Starting with 75 singles. Should I, I'll stop recording.